Welcome to Google Cloud Drawing Board, where we doodle our way through the cloud. Today's topic, what is Dataflow? This video is divided into chapters, so watch the full video or skip ahead to any section of your choice. Data is generated in real time from websites, mobile apps, IoT devices, and other workloads. Capturing, processing, and analyzing this data is a priority for all businesses. But data from these systems is not often in the format that's conducive for analysis or for effective use by downstream systems. That's where Dataflow comes in. Dataflow is a serverless, fast, and cost-effective service that supports both streaming and batch processing. It provides portability with processing jobs written using open-source Apache Beam libraries. And it removes operational overhead from your data engineering teams by automating the infrastructure provisioning and cluster management. How does Dataflow work? In general, a data processing pipeline involves three steps. You read the data from a source, transform it, and write the data back into a sync. The data is read from the source into something called a P collection. The P stands for parallel because a P collection is designed to be distributed across multiple machines. Then it performs one or more operations on the P collection, which are called transforms. Each time it runs a transform, a new P collection is created. That's because P collections are immutable. After all of the transforms are executed, the pipeline writes the final P collection to an external sync. Once you've created your pipeline using Apache Beam SDK in the language of your choice, Java or Python, you can use Dataflow to deploy and execute that pipeline, which is called a Dataflow job. Dataflow then assigns the worker virtual machines to execute the data processing. You can customize the shapes and size of these machines. And if your traffic pattern is spiky, Dataflow auto-scaling automatically increases or decreases the number of worker instances required to run your job. Dataflow's streaming engine separates compute from storage and moves parts of pipeline execution out of the worker VMs and into the Dataflow service backend. This improves auto-scaling and data latency. Now, how do you use Dataflow? You can create Dataflow jobs using Cloud Console UI, gcloud command line interface or the api you have options while creating the job you can use dataflow templates write a sql statement or use ai platform notebooks dataflow templates offer a collection of pre-built templates with an option to create your own custom ones you can then easily share them with others in your organization Dataflow SQL lets you use your SQL skills to develop streaming pipelines right from the BigQuery web UI. You can join streaming data from PubSub with files in cloud storage or tables in BigQuery, write results into BigQuery, and then build real-time dashboards for visualization. You can use AI platform notebooks from the Dataflow interface itself to build and deploy data pipelines using the latest data science and machine learning frameworks. Dataflow inline monitoring lets you directly access job metrics to help with troubleshooting pipelines at both the step and the worker level. How to secure Dataflow pipelines? When using Dataflow, all the data is encrypted at rest and in transit. To secure the data processing environment, you can turn off public IPs to restrict access to internal systems. Leverage VPC service controls that help you mitigate the risk of data exfiltration. Additionally, you can create a pipeline that's protected with customer-managed encryption keys. Now, what does it cost to use Dataflow? Dataflow service usage is built in per-second increments on a per-job basis, depending on streaming or batch data. For batch data processing, you can utilize the flexible resource scheduling feature that reduces the cost by using advanced scheduling techniques. Each Dataflow job uses at least one Dataflow worker, and the price depends on the worker configurations. Where to use Dataflow? Dataflow is a great choice for any batch or streaming data that needs processing and enrichment for the downstream systems, such as analysis, machine learning, or data warehousing. Some examples are stream analytics, enabling real-time business insights, real-time AI, enabling predictive analytics, fraud detection, personalization, processing streams of log data, unlocking health insights for your systems, and of course, any other data aggregation and analysis scenario. 
Want to learn more about Dataflow? Check out cloud.google.com slash Dataflow.